y'all welcome back to Miller's TV as you can see we got the old Jeep back in here again um, we're actually about to start putting a snorkel on this thing uh, let me see if I can stand it up here where you can see what I'm doing there you go well it's, that's kind of don't really look like a snorkel does it but what you do this one mounts right here I gotta take his fender off you actually have to trim the fender you remove this, I gotta move this, I gotta move the corner brace, and your pipe will actually come down and run inside the frame behind this up into a new box. And right here, <laughs> this is the new box, which I ain't got opened yet, but I'll show you when we get to that point. And it's got this other piece of inlet tube. <clears throat> Let's see. Right there. And this is a rugged ridge, and it comes with that part that just sets right there on top of the hood. <coughs> Excuse me. It just sets here, you know, on that side here, or it actually also comes with the adapter that brings it up to the top of your windshield. So I guess you can change it, you know, if you want to or whatever. Uh, as you can see, there's the four bolt holes. You can unbolt this. Let me lay this down. You can unbolt this piece, which pulls the air from right here, and then attach the the upper mount or whatever you want to call it that comes up the windshield. So, all right, the first thing we got to start doing is getting the passenger side focus, focus. There we go. Getting the passenger side front fender off on the passenger side. You got to get your inner fender. And again, on the passenger side, I'm just over here. You got to get your corner brace and this off. The passenger side. So we're gonna get started on that and we'll see y'all here in a second. We gotta remove this corner brace. You gotta remove these two screws for your, your cow right here on your windshield wipers so you can get to this and get this unbolted. Y'all, hey I got a good bit done since last time I saw y'all. You can tell I done got the fender off. Done got that, like, well, over there, you see that little, like, side cow piece. Done got it off. Done got the inner fender out. And once you get all that off, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this 10 millimeter, well, if it'll focus, bolt that holds your brake line still. And another thing, too, is you see how this is black? This particular one from Rugged Ridge, you need to paint this little bit right here that's going to show. And then the box sets here. So you really ain't going to see it anyway, but that way it ain't like a mismatched yellow or black or whatever color you got. Next thing to do is bend this heat shield in so your aluminum tube will fit right in there. I got the aluminum tube in, and let me tell you, it is a pain in the butt to get in there. As you can see, this dust shield right here on the manifold, you actually have to... It even says it in the instructions. You have to fold the heat shield together. Up here it comes to a point and you have to fold it together and tap it in to where it gives you enough room with this tube to squeeze by. Let me get you off the tripod here. And then I've already slid this tube on. I'll move it so y'all can see. I was just test fitting it. There we go. And as you can see how close that is to your power steering. But now once I tighten it, this right here comes over just a little bit. It goes behind your your uh, freight line bracket, and then you slide your. It, you gotta test fit everything before you actually glue it. But once you get ready and everything fits, you actually have to put Permatex on the inside of this, is what the instructions say, and then clamp it down. So I'm not even putting the clamps or nothing on it. I'm just test fitting everything, and then as you can, well, you might can see that way. Let's see. Yeah, see it sticking up. And that turns and goes straight up, and your new box, you know, comes in from the top, and it'll set right there. Your new bottom part of your air box. There's the old one. All right, so let me get, let it down and get started on that, and I'll show you here in just a second. The next thing you're going to want to do, remember how I showed you this is on your aluminum tube under the, or next to the motor in the truck after you install it. You're going to want to put your, your bottom that comes in. It actually sets in the truck just like that. You're going to want to put it on your tube and mark just like I did 
and see that way I know which way that way it ain't turned one way or the other and you're gonna line those up but you're gonna put gives you some gasket maker silicone whatever and put around this put your tube on clamp it down and then you're gonna want to come from the inside see if I can stand this up here where you can see and where the tube comes on you're gonna want to wipe silicone right there we got the fender installed and as you can tell you have to notch well let me get a light there you go so you have to notch around your snorkel and since we've got the aftermarket smitty built fenders you can't really use it but for your factory fender it comes with a cutout and you've got your drain tube which you all it is is basically a clamp I've done got everything sealed up bolted to the aluminum tube your elbow goes up to your lower part of your box done got that bolted down and then it also says to seal up your bolt holes with silicone so I've done sealed those up that's secure I've done installed the the cowl back and you reuse the, the bolts you took off originally with this and your Z bracket and there's that's all bolted down fenders bolted down and the only thing that's left now is since we have the DVA inner fenders we're gonna have to notch around this so that's next we got our inner fender notched and you see where we come back and put that rubber uh, edging I guess you'd call it those little weather stripping around it give it a more clean look and then we also have it's laying right there on the trash can the plastic inner fender for right here so we're gonna get it we're gonna notch it a little bit around this part and then bolt it on and then I gotta put the rock bar back on and tighten that bolt and that is how you install a rugged ridge snorkel so and right here's the head that I was talking about that lets it go up the windshield kind of like a normal snorkel you unbolt that head over there you bolt this on and then this bolts to the top but I don't know which one we're gonna leave on it we'll probably end up just leaving this one so all right well let me get all this done and I'll see y'all here in a minute we got the other inner fender in and right there's the snorkel part we can't really do nothing about it you have to notch around it so but it don't look bad so that's it uh, we're gonna here in a little bit we're going to try on that top piece I showed you just to see what it looks like so I'll show you that and that'll be it as well we got that installed um, pretty pretty clean install really don't even really look like a snorkel until you actually stare at it so but yeah all right I appreciate y'all watching and uh, make sure you mash that subscribe button and turn the little bell on for notifications so you'll be notified it next time we upload a video and uh, check us out on uh, Instagram. It's Tacoma1990. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, everything really. So, all right. Well, until next time, y'all have a good one.